Hello and welcome back to Throwback Cartoon Reviews. This time, we're gonna review Total Drama Action. So, Total Drama Action, it's the second series to Total Drama. And by the way, I hope you guys enjoyed my first two videos earlier today. But anyway, Total Drama Action, like I said, it's the sequel to Total Drama Island. And Total Drama Action, it's good. But is it as good as Island? <laughs> no, absolutely not. Action's good, yeah, but it's a decent follow-up to what came before, but it's definitely not better at all. No, no, definitely not. But this time, our contestants, well, 14 of our contestants who technically, quote, tied for the million dollars are competing in a season two in a film slot where they're doing challenges based off of movie genres, and you could have a lot of fun with that concept, let me tell you. And they use that concept to their fullest. There's superhero movie challenges, there's monster movie challenges, there's just all sorts of uh, challenges, like, um, I'm trying to th think of more, like, there's a heist challenge, there's a challenge where they make a movie. It's great. The show's good. I like Total Drama Action. I don't have much to say about it, though, unfortunately, like I did with Island. I had a lot to say about Island, but Action... Like, I still love Chris. Chris is one of the most funny things on the show. His level of sadism is phenomenal. Like, I just love him, but I mean... There's characters who improve, but this time it's Justin who's the main antagonist instead of Heather. And Justin works, maybe? They kind of changed his character from Island to just the pretty boy to now a full-on villain. Okay. I guess it works. I don't know, it's hard to say. But then, like, halfway into the season, they bring in Courtney, who sued her way onto the show, basically, and got her lawyers involved. And then she became the antagonist of the season. And I mean, Owen is flanderized here. I'm sorry, but just... Oh, God. Okay. Anyway... There's also, um, they also introduced a new gimmick here called the Aftermath, and it's basically, like, the contestants coming on, a limited contestant coming on, talking about their experiences on Total Drama, and you have Bridget and Jeff as the hosts, which I've established that Bridget and Duncan are my favorite characters in Total Drama. I don't know, they just are the ones that stick out to me the most. And then, yeah. I'm trying to explain this the best way I can with the Aftermath. Like, I mean, they're fun, but they're kind of boring at the same time. I just feel like they slow down the action. <laughs> Alright, anyway. So, yeah. Total drama action, it's good. And I mean, it has an out. We're a long special at the end of it. Oh, yeah. And Beth, is the, Beth and Duncan are the two finalists. And just like with Owen and Gwen in the first season, whoever wins depends on the region. In the broadcast version, weirdly, it's Duncan in America. But on the Netflix version, it's Beth. So, oh yeah, and speaking of Beth, she has a running gimmick where she has, where she claims to have a boyfriend, and like, she's like, my boyfriend said this, my boyfriend said that, my boyfriend told me to do this, my boyfriend told me to do that, my boyfriend did this, my boyfriend did that, yeah, you get the picture. And, yeah, and at the end, it, they do a good payoff with it at the end, where we actually see the boyfriend. And yeah, Duncan, I, I wish Duncan won in... The Netflix version, I, I think it's more of a satisfying winning for me to see Duncan win, just because I love Duncan as a character. It's ironic, too, because one of my favorite characters got eliminated first, and they got eliminated second, and they got, like, and my other favorite character got through the whole season. So, yeah. There's not much else to talk about action, sadly. I can't wait to see you in World Tour. Bye, everyone.